Hey guys, my name is Paul and I help young people that are battling with anxiety. Make sure you check the top link in the description to join my Discord community server. I'll be doing so many amazing things on there. So guys, genuinely, what I can tell you from my own experience, to speed up your process of overcoming anxiety, all I can tell you guys is firstly, you've got to remain patient. This isn't going to just happen in one day. Now, the reason I genuinely started this whole like, oh, I want to overcome anxiety and help people overcome anxiety is because when I look around, even like close, like nearby people that I know, when I look around, I see a lot of people battling or struggling to overcome their anxiety. Or sometimes they just have problems in their lives and they don't know what this problem is. But from the outside, like outside perspective, it just seems to me like, they're going through anxiety and depression and stress and a lot of things are like you know heaping on top of each other and making it really difficult for them to like come out of their their shell or even to like just tackle the problem another thing that i've noticed is that people with anxiety they don't necessarily want to fix it but they're tired of going through the same symptoms I, i've noticed this like they don't have the patience they don't they don't have the willingness to be able to be like, okay, here's my problem, here's the solutions, let's get to work. It's more like, here's my problems, let me go find more problems. There's there's no solution. I Genuinely, I've asked so many people with anxiety, they might not have been diagnosed with it. I feel like everyone has some form of anxiety, just other people have it worse than other like other people. But from what I've noticed is that these people that tend to have anxiety they don't know like the solution to the problem. When I ask them and like, I'm not name dropping, but when I ask them, oh, why, like what sorts of problems do you face with anxiety? And they say, oh, I have these things going through my mind and I have this to do and this and that. And sometimes when I speak to people, I can feel anxiety. And then I ask them, what, what are the solution? What are the things you're doing to fix this? And they're like, oh, I have too much on my plate. I, I genuinely don't like my GP prescribed me with some, and I just tell them, stop, wait a minute. If you know this, this is a problem and it's hindering your life and probably like 80% of your day, you're in an anxiety state, a state of anxiety, a state of being anxious. If you notice these things and you tend to like over worry, over stress, over think about the future or the past, you tend to get like bodily spasms where your body like sh literally shivers and it's like uncontrollable and you feel like weak or invulnerable. Like if you're this type of person and just just be honest, be honest right now and like throw away your pride. Like, cause who cares about your pride at the end of the day in five to 10 years, if you keep existing with these problems, it's just gonna stipulate and become worse. So throw away your pride accept that yes i have anxiety yes this is my problem what could i do to fix it fantastic you've solved 50 percent of the problem a lot of people with anxiety they don't tend to accept that they have it they just you know brush it off and they're like oh it's fine like i'll, I'll manage and you know what two shades of these type of people the people that like they're like oh you know what who cares if i have anxiety uh I'll survive. Like, I love that type of spirit. But for the other types of people that are like, oh, yes, yeah, overbearing, I can't do anything, this is too much. Like, genuinely, there are solutions out there for you. You just need to go take them. You need to go take these solutions. You can't keep accepting that your life is just going to be the same. And this is genuinely the reason why this is my mission. I want to overcome anxiety. I truly do believe if you... If you like, I will genuinely be giving away like free consultations to help people. I feel like these videos help, but like a lot of people just watch these videos and they binge them. They don't actually take the value from them. So I would, I would highly encourage you to take the actionable step. Click the first link in my description and join my Discord platform. And I will put you in an onboarding session. I will work one-on-one -on -one with you. At the end of the day, you just need to be committed you got to remember that this is going to help you in all areas of your life, business, finances, family, relationships, like anxiety 
will take a toll on you in all these fields, but you've got to go take this, the first step to actually fixing it. You've got to go fix the problem. Are you breathing? Are you doing like deep breaths every single day? Be honest with yourself. Are you taking deep, deep breaths? Are you meditating for even a minute a day? You're probably not. Are you socializing with friends, family members, and speaking to people that you can trust about your problems? Probably not. Are you exercising regularly, taking, you know, short bursts of exercise, going outside, you know, embracing the sun? Probably not. Are you having a healthy diet every single day? And, you know, obviously, occasionally you can eat unhealthy, but are you making sure that you're balancing your diet? It's not just terrible every single meal, every single day, every week, every month. Probably not. Am I perfect? Do I, <laughs> do I do all the things I mentioned? No, I don't do it like every day, but I make sure that I work towards it. I strive towards it. I keep it in mind. I take my supplements. I take action on my deep breathing meditation. I take action on drinking a lot of water. I take like just surrounding myself around positive people that I can trust. If there are no people like that, I don't surround myself around those, anyone then. I just surround myself around me and the types of people that I, I want to become. So obviously you've got YouTubers, content creators on, on so many platforms. You could literally just resonate with someone and just watch all their content and strive to be more like them. And then slowly take yourself away from the people that surround you currently so that you can actually further your growth. At the end of the day, self-improvement may seem tedious, it may seem boring, it may seem like, oh, I can't be bothered to do this. But at the end of the day, this is your health, this is your wellness, your mental health, your physical health. It literally takes part in everything. And the worse you get, like the more depressed you feel, the more anxious you feel, it's just going to get worse. It doesn't matter how great your mental health might be right now. You could be on 100 out of 100 mental health. But if you go through a period or a season where you're, you're just depreciating and you've not laid that foundation, you're just going to, you're going to be worse than where you started off. And it's going to be hard off. It's almost like when you put on a lot of weight and you become obese, it's harder to like get slimmer. And when you look at your body after like, you know, an obese person, like no offense if you're obese, I'm just like stating an example. After you're obese and you try to like slim down and shred, have you noticed that your body tends to leave certain marks, like stretch marks? So you've been impacted so much that like literally, no matter what physical, act, you could have a, a 10 pack, but if you was obese at one point in your life, you will have, you will have marks to show you that you, you went overboard. You went too far in, in <laughs> eating. <laughs> at the end of the day, it only takes eating. Some people say, oh, yeah, they get, you know, big from the stress and depression. But I truly do believe that, like, at the end of the day, it's what you've put in. It's, and at the end of the day, let's face it, the root problem was your mental health. Like, most people overeat and overindulge because they, they don't have a good mental health. So it's, like, actually time, like, to sit up and be like, you know what, let me fix my mental health. Let me improve it. And... Maybe, maybe your mental health isn't bad, but it can always be improved. It can always, you can always adapt, adapt or adopt a new habit, a new lifestyle, meditation, breathing exercises, staying in the moment, socializing with friends and families that you trust, going to hobbies, football, etc., etc. Just being proactive, proactively identifying your problems and then actively taking actions to overcome those problems like i said like genuinely guys it's all your mental health just prioritize your mental health you will grow in but business finances discipline prioritize your mental health of like try to declutter your brain of so many things and thoughts that comes up and problems and this and that bills this and that think less and you'll start to perform better when you overthink and you think too much and you're over worrying yourself and overcrowding yourself with even the little things will get on your nerves. I've noticed that like people that tend to overstress or over worry or they're always anxious, little things tend to like get on like their skin. They tend to 
just a little thing like you could you could go say hi to them and that, and that might just piss them off the way you've said hi to them that might just tick them so you want to be more loving more considerate more patient how can you how can you gain this simply genuinely guys simply it's just a few things like make positive actions take positive actions take actions that are positive everything that's a positive action is most likely going to bring you a positive result do the deep breathing guys do the deep breathing one minute of deep breathing is not going to kill you it's going to improve your life eat healthy eating carrots and vegetables and broccoli and actual potatoes and chicken these are all good for your body and like they all have certain nutrients that will actually improve your your mental health and your your physical health and you'll stop to you'll stop over worrying and you'll have more energy cut down the coffee and sugars and like on that processed sugars and processed foods cut these things down like stop eating sweets and gelatin and you say you have like low blood pressure but like sweets aren't going to be your resolution go there's literally fruits that have sugars in them bananas have fruits uh, sugars in them apples have fruits uh, sugars in them literal plantain literally has sugar in it just replace all the things that you know are like not benefiting you stop accepting like or stop if you if you notice that it's like your environment and oh the reason i have a bad like diet is because my mom cooks this for me or my dad cooks this for me and i can't like run away from it they keep making like sweet stop accepting it stop tell them no i don't want to i don't want to eat that if you're going to prepare something for me make it healthy you have to like be disciplined you have to take control of your life you can't let like someone else control your life and then you end up becoming miserable trying to impress that person like at the end of the day this is your life guys this is your life take control of it take control of your life and you have every reason to so genuinely i'm not going to make this video too long make sure you check the first link in the description to join my discord community server genuinely guys i truly do believe i can transform your life you just need to take the action you need to be disciplined you need to be willing committed this is committing to your a better future a better life for yourself so at the end of the day you can choose to do that i love making these videos because it it like keeps me in check and it makes sure that i keep doing these things so i'm not just like telling you guys oh yeah meditate and then i don't meditate telling you guys don't stress but i stress telling you guys don't wor don't over worry or don't worry about the future or the past but i worry and you know obviously i'm still a human being but I know the root the root cause to these problems. Most of the time you just need someone to talk to. And with this person talking to you, you just need them asking you the right questions. And then ask, after they've asked the right questions, you need like a guideline to show you what should I be doing every day? What should I be sticking to? What should I be avoiding? And then you need someone to just keep track of these things. It's literally just that you just need an accountability partner. You just need someone to talk to, so like a counselor, and you just need someone to be an accountability partner. And I'm here willing to do that. Obviously, it's like the beginning stages. I will learn and progress, but as I progress and learn, guys, and I, I start bringing out better materials and better products and services, the premium will increase. So be the first person to join, so you can get it like cheap, and you know you. The earlier, the better. It's been your boy Paul Kadar. I love you guys all. We out. Peace.